Good, uh, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today's topic is brought to you by none other than me. Um, I got challenged to do the 22 a day, every day, uh, for 22 days. Uh, deal by a friend of mine, another truck driver and a uh, former service member. And I nominated a, uh, a friend of mine who is a Marine. Uh, I'm saying he is a Marine because once you're a Marine, you're always a Marine. So, um, just figured I'd take a minute uh, out of my day today to talk about uh, a little bit of the things all these guys are going through, I guess. And um, I just want to start by saying the 22 a day for 22 days thing is great and all, but is it really helping? Uh, those who are, you know, contemplating or committing suicide. And there's a lot of things that uh, our first responders and our military personnel go through on a daily basis that they never talk about because it's unpleasant to talk about. They don't want to think about it. They don't want to deal with it, but yet they do. Um, I guess I'm just trying to say there's more that should be done I guess to try and help these people out man um, it's a damn shame that we're losing veterans and first responders at the rate we are while it's nice to raise awareness uh, I feel like uh, there ought to be some kind of program or something out there to readjust these men and women for when they come back home and they're no longer uh, warriors anymore. You know, they gone out and they did their thing. They came back and now they're living and paying for it up here. And it's not a good thing to think about, really, if you think about it. Um, you figure the Marines, the Army, Navy, whatever, uh, seems like a lot of them don't have any kind of program to really reintegrate these people for society. You know, just kind of throw them back in and that's it. But they did all this training and work to build these people up and basically break them down and rebuild them as completely different and new people uh, than who they used to be. And I guess with that, what I'm trying to say is the military kind of is neglecting their own people. The people they claim to care about so much. I don't mean that in a negative light, as in the military is wrong for what they're doing. But I'm saying they, get, they ought to be doing more than just leaving it to the VA and then not letting it be it. Um, I know a lot of these guys... Uh, the only people they have to talk to are fellow veterans because they're the only ones that can understand. You know, uh, they're the only ones that can really understand the situation and the feeling. Man, I guess put yourself in their shoes. Uh, consider they may be living with traumatic problems with traumatic experiences um, from having either having to take another person's life or witnessing it happen before them uh, you know their friends dying in their arms you know things like that witnessing their buddies being blown apart it's a it's a heavy subject it's a heavy hearted one it's it's not uh, very easy to deal with but you know I can say at least with a uh, a lot of you veterans, uh, if I have any on this channel, probably the best thing for you guys, I would suggest, uh, hit up a local motorcycle club. Uh, whether it's keeping yourself busy doing something or um, giving yourself things to do, whatever you gotta do, uh, check out a motorcycle club. There's a lot of veterans to join, and I can't tell you how many that I've I've known, fortunately enough, that I've talked to, uh, who said that if it wasn't for uh, the motorcycle club, they may not be standing here today. 
uh, just something to think about and something to consider. But maybe try seeing about a motorcycle club. Get you a bike. Hell, you don't even have to. You don't even have to be a part of a motorcycle club to do that. You know, get you a bike and just go out and ride when things are looking grim for you. Uh, take things off of your mind, ease your mind somehow. Um, I know when I got out of the fire department and I had no way to deal with it, you just kind of put it in the back of your mind and you don't think about it. And then when it does come up, uh, you have no one to really talk to and understand. But luckily I had uh, my father who was former service and my father was also former firefighter. And he was able to understand. He and not, you know, he didn't like talking about it, but I found talking about it has helped me quite a bit tremendously. Um, you know, you find like-minded people, uh, essentially is what I'm saying. Find like-minded people and actively search it out. Uh, get out of the house every once in a while. No, you know, get cooped up in your house and work and everything and you feel like well I was something at one point and now I'm no longer that something and it just kind of weighs on you because it's like you know I was meant to lead the way it was meant to be this or that and uh, no longer am I doing that I'm working minimum wage or I'm doing whatever uh, I might also suggest take up truck driving as a career um, especially for you veterans because you veterans out there man um, truck driving you know you get into it keep yourself busy so so much throughout the day um you don't really have time to think about all that shit you got more on your mind like worrying about your schedule what you got to do uh, how you're going to do it uh all that good shit you know keeps yourself busy enough to the point where you're not really worried about it and before you know it you kind of quit thinking about it um but i just figured this would be a good topic of discussion to come up with and i appreciate it if uh, you guys left some comments and how maybe you guys deal with these things and how you suggest uh, dealing with it. What we can do to not only raise awareness but actually help the issue because raising awareness is one thing but actually doing something about it is totally different. Uh, so if you guys want to uh, really make a difference I would say put down some comments Let's see where things go, huh? Uh, maybe somebody have a good enough idea out there or somebody can get it out to a congressman or uh, somebody's got some connections somewhere. They can pull some strings and start something up and uh, really do something for these people. So, uh, you know, let's, let's be about taking care of our own out here, right? We're American. We love our veterans dearly uh, at least we claim we do now let's actually put it into practice I feel like that's what we need to do besides just raising awareness about it alrighty y'all have a good day